Yeah, hi everyone, it's Adam and Farish here from Bali Scuba. So maybe you haven't been diving for a while. Maybe you've forgotten how to, how to assemble your equipment or maybe you have some new equipment. So Farish in particular from Bali Scuba, he's one of our master instructors. Over the next few minutes, he's just gonna show you the correct way to put together your equipment so that when you go diving, you can dive safely, with confidence, and most importantly, when you come here, ideally at Bali Scuba, you have fun. So, Fadish, I'm going to hand over to you, yep. and I'm going to go back diving. But this is what a complete setup will look like. So, I have my fins, mask, snorkel, BCD. Everything is in order. When you come here, we'll always make sure that you have fun in a safe way. Thanks for listening. A couple of minutes and you're going to be a better diver. Hi, I'm Paris from Bali Scuba. So now I'd like to show you how to assemble and disassemble the scuba unit. So look what we have here. So I have my cylinder. This is the cylinder. I have my weight system and on my dive bag here I have a, my thermal protection the I have mask and snorkel I have my fins for propulsion This protection and then can protect your feet from maybe rocks on the beach or something like that. This is my PCB, buoyancy control device, and regulator. Right. So assemble the scuba unit. So scuba unit consists of three parts of equipment. Number one is cylinder or tank. Number two is the BCD buoyancy control device. And number three is the regulator. Okay. How to assemble it? I'm gonna assemble it step by step. So first you prepare your cylinder. You check. Is there any rubber ring here, we call it O-ring because if no O-ring, no diving might want to hold the O-ring so I will turn this counterclockwise just a bit and then smell it you don't want any uncontaminated air next steps will be BCD on the back side of your BCD there will be a, what we call cylinder band. If your cylinder band is dry, just make sure it's you make it wet. Right. And then you slide down your cylinder band onto the cylinder, and how high is around four or five fingers like this. and then you lock it. Okay. As a check, lift this handle and shake it. Okay. Now the PCD is already attached to the cylinder. The next thing is regulator. Since so many hoses, so make sure to left and to right. So this yellow one and the black one. This is second stage. This is 
also a second stage on your right side and the rest on the left side like this and in the middle and in the middle call it first stage there will be a dust cap here which we have to open remove the dust cap and then connect the first stage to the cylinder valve like this connect it properly and then tighten the screw tight but not too tight just finger tight like this right good and then you might want to connect this what we call inflator hose connect to low pressure inflator or L LPI by moving this moving parts pull it down push it to the LPI and then click then you might want to make this together by with this velcro to make it as thin line as possible and then you might want to help this to turn on the cylinder when you turn the cylinders on just make sure you face this down press the gauge down and then you turn this counterclockwise gently all the way until it's stuck when it's stuck please turn back once uh, now we check the pressure gauge so the full cylinder should be about 200 bars or 2000 psi and then you might want to keep this thin line if you have the clipper you can clip and attach here or if not good in this PCD we have a small pocket like this yes so you can extend this if you want to see if not you can Now we check the air. This is your second stage. Read from it. Good. Also the alternate air source. Good. You check the inflator button. It's working. And then deflator button. Okay. And also the dump valve. Working. The other one on the back. And stay on your mouth all the time when you dive and this one you don't want to dangling anywhere so you keep this here this so just in case if someone needs it so bad they can access it in one or two seconds like this you done Lay it down.
Yeah, thank you so much, Farage, from, uh, from Bali Scuba. Farage is one of our expert uh, master instructors. Uh, the, the reason why we did this is we want to make sure that everyone that goes diving, wherever you go diving, ideally in Bali, Indonesia, but wherever you go, assemble your equipment with safety and efficiency. Farage has done a very good job. And as a final note, the reason why Farage has put all of his equipment close together like this is because often you'll be diving in areas where there are many other divers. You want to make sure that your equipment ideally is in the shade and also it's all together so that you know what your equipment is and other people know what their equipment is and then you can go diving with safety and again, most importantly, Fadish, with fun. But thank you so much for listening. Subscribe to our channel and you can learn more about our safe and fun diving techniques. But Fadish, yeah. until next time my friend. Okay, anytime.